What's up everyone, how are you doing? Hope you had a great day. Lethal Concept here with a bit of what you would say filler kind of of episodes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm um, uploading short-ish vi videos showcasing weapons that some people claim are usable on gold but aren't quite as popular and not much as seen. So the reason why I'm doing this is actually because as of this moment I'm really focusing on two quote-unquote projects. My ultimate beginner's guide, which is going to take a while because I have to sort through about 40 gigs worth of footage, and my Overwatch games of Uprising with my friends. So instead of having no content and no guides because leveling a character 20 takes a while for my guides and I have to write up and test different builds, I figured I'd do a couple of games right now with weapons some consider usable but not often seen as gold, give my opinions, share my thoughts after using it, and see, and then I'll pass the information on to you. So that's really it. Now on to the weapon. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up, everyone? Hope you had a great day. Lethal Concept here, back with my. This one's actually not going to be a weapon review. It's actually going to be a build review, and this one's actually going to be my cryo trap on the engineer. Now. I've seen a lot of comments on my engineer build using trying or saying that cryo trap is better than snap freeze and I've tried it before and I didn't like it so but that was me, me using brittle freeze over cryo trap and they told me to use radius with cryo trap so I tried that and I still don't like it so first of all if you haven't seen my engineer build video I would recommend you see that and then I recommend you follow the link in the description to see all the comments advocating for Cryotrap. And then if you'd like watch this video and you'll understand why. So when I make these builds, I make these builds primarily so that you can actually pug in gold. With the Cryotrap and the Radius, you're actually playing a build that has a very specific focus and there's not a lot of opportunities to use that in gold so what I mean is that cryo trap spraying the ground with radius before the enemies come in is valid for every map but after that is done and you're engaged in firefights and, and you know that you're going to get rushed from the enemy you're not going to have a lot of instances where you feel safe cryo trapping with radius on the floor also if you stay in the open a lot even for a couple of split seconds you're going to take a lot of damage since you have no damage resistance no regeneration of health and shields or any power upgrades that let you regenerate health and shields safely. If you see in my human engineer guide, I actually have this instance where I take only two sniper rifle shots on the vanquisher and my health is almost down to zero. It was like a third or half. It was I got chunked down really fast. And so I can't imagine that you'd be feel safe spraying cryo trap into enemy teams. As for the, it has a lot of unique options though, and what I mean is Radius and Cryo Trap allows you to freeze enemies behind cover. Now the problem I had with that was, once they were frozen and they fell on the ground, I couldn't actually shoot them because they, they were still technically behind cover unless they fell out of cover and sometimes they didn't. Also off host, if you're playing Cryo Trap off host, sometimes it hits on the ground with Cryo Trap on the floor don't register unless you actually spray it there for a more decent amount of time so that it actually registers to work peer to peer but it, you can't just like spray it all will, willy nilly unless you're on host also with open maps for things such as firebase icebreaker or firebase sandstorm where you're moving around the elevations of the levels a lot so you don't get flanked because those are very open maps you're not going to have a lot of opportunities to use cryo trap with radius so my recommendations are still to use brittle freeze and snap freeze if you're pugging a lot however if you're just farming on say five base zero with outlaws then this build is actually better because you can actually force enemies to go into specific lanes and there's a lot of cover from those lanes you've got those doors you've got those edges on the very edge of the map it's, it's safer to use in those maps, but if you're playing a more open world map and if you're using it at an engineer for pugging, I would still recommend the Brittle Freeze Snap Freeze now. However, also another thing to mention is that Cryo, Tri Cryo Trap does pr 
proc elemental tech and tech sabotage I've tested this and they work and I think a lot of people have misconceptions they think cryo trap doesn't deal damage and it only freezes them or chills them and so the, they think that since you have to deal damage with your powers it doesn't proc now actually cryo trap actually does deal damage it's and the reason that a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions is not a lot of people have used Cryotrap or have videos of Cryotrap using of trying to use Cryotrap. So I'll have two different videos of me trying to use it. Admittedly, there were one of them were not was not against the best race, and the second one was not on the best map. But it, once again, this is the risk that you take with pugging, and so if you want to go with Cryotrap in pugging, that's a bit iffy. I wouldn't take that risk. There's another thing with Cryo trap, and that is that I find it a lot of time when you're off host with cryo trap that the cryo trap doesn't actually freeze enemies. I actually cryo trap the floor, and a lot of times in the video you actually see that I'm waiting for the enemy to be frozen, but they just don't freeze. Cryo trap does supposed to freeze enemies that walk over it. It chills them first, and then freezes them if they are unshielded and unarmored and normal sized enemies. Also. Another thing with Crytrap is that it doesn't work against shielded enemies, so this is the reason why I say Crytrap is only good for outlaws on Five Page Zero. Because remnants you observe as big threats, they don't freeze because they're in the air. Nullifiers, big threat artillery unit, they won't freeze because they're either far too far away shooting at you, or they're just armored. And for the cat, the other race, the two main threats, the Anointed and the Destined, they have shields, so they actually don't really care unless you actually decide to take the shields out. And with Overload, Overload will not do enough damage to take down shields no matter how much anti-shields upgrades that you get with your powers. So it's really only, really good, only really good for Outlaws, only really good for certain maps or certain scenarios, not a build I would recommend if you're pugging or if you've wanted to play Engineer as a more explosive or more debuffing with random teammates, if you're going in a group and you're actually picking outlaws with Fire Base Zero, have fun with this build. Otherwise, I would not recommend it. I think I've said enough. Hope you enjoy the rest of the footage and I will see you guys next time. No, he's not FK, okay, good. Yep. I just want to really freeze him. Nice. Okay, I'm not reviving him anymore. I don't know why he's just staying there. I mean... I can see that it freezes, but it just makes it so much harder to aim when you're like that. Now I'll freeze this guy for the armor debuff. But yeah, I, I don't know. It just feels like a lot of work with minimal gain. Didn't even freeze over here. Yeah, now it's working. And always lagging hoist at the start of the match. So we really need to get in cover. Just keep dashing until we get into cover. That's the only thing I can hope for now. Oh, come on. Am I going to have to pop a health here just to get safety? Alright, no. Yep, that's him. My shield failed. Teammate injured. And my team all went to get him up. Left me alone, and that's unfortunate. I had to pop my revive pack here. Probably not the best gameplay that I'll upload, but that's fine. No one's perfect. You guys get to see me. him again. I have a feeling this guy does ha is not playing a lot. Not a lot. 
we're gonna probably have to maybe pop a health pack if we keep lagging like this. Will I upload this? I'll probably still will. Like it's not. I'm not doing that. And yeah, you can use consumable guns, so I be scared. Not they, fi they fired twice, which is why I didn't pop up, because I didn't know. Like if you if you gain if I gain damage resistance while using channeled skills, or if I gain shield and health regen when I get hit while channeling skills, this build will be pretty good. But I don't know. It's just. This doesn't usually happen. I'm gonna assume that something's really bad with the guys hosting at the start, and I can't move. I'm probably gonna have to be proper five here. I'm gonna heal, and I'm back. thing I can do right here is take out the turrets on my team. That's really... You're, you're so squishy that you're not going to survive running up there, especially on a map like this. I have to stay on this side because this guy's shooting. Someone's on my left as well. Locks onto the thing and what go onto the floor. That's also another reason why I don't like Cryo Trap. Why it's not very. Good. Like, see, I want to spray it on the floor in between him and the floor, but I can't because of how the target system works. I can't get to him. I know there's a destroy in there, so. I can see that there's two enemies. Two enemies are fine. Oh, it's Orculus again. Oh, I'm gonna have to check the rank on this guy afterwards. Seems to be dying a lot. Either he doesn't have health upgrades, or he doesn't play the game.
I mean, another nice thing about Cryo Trap is it constantly applies the negative uh, 50% armor debuff. And I'm gonna have to get into cover soon because. I don't know, maybe the host is lagging. Now, this is gonna be hard, so my plan is not to go that way, that's too open. I'm probably gonna go around there and then go jump onto the bottom. So he's got that covered, so the best thing you can do is to probably freeze that area off. Second shot, yeah. See, like, it doesn't... I guess Remnant's not the best class against its orc list again. Um, I don't know. I feel like he should use a revive at this point in the game. Like, see, like I want to aim in, like on the feet, but I can't. It just makes it very frustrating to use. Miss every headshot. This will cover my escape. That was a misfire, but I can kill this one. And I saw the uh, beam jump, but the beam actually killed him. So it's like good to watch the uh, beam as well. See if there's any enemies. And see where it jumps to. 15 seconds. I'm actually gonna put my turret here for. Distraction. Jump up here so I can use that as cover. Like, let him move across. And the Angaran should stealth us. Stealth? Stealth? No. That's how Apex gets it done. Oh, Come that on. was a bit of a struggle. Um, that's gone. I'll probably do another one because I'm guessing Remnant is not the best to showcase the human engineer with a cryo trap build. I'll I guess I'll try and go up against an outlaw because outlaw and maybe Ket. Ket has a lot of shielded enemies, so you probably don't want to run cryo trap on against Ket. You probably want to run maybe max damage on shields against Ket because anointed and destined have low shields. Um, cryo trap's probably best against outlaw. That's pro that's my thoughts on it. Um, yeah, that's the rest of that's well that will be the rest of this video.